Yeah, dear students, we are going to continue the lesson on angle properties of circle in this video. Okay, um, let's do a very quick recap on what we have done so far. Okay, first and foremost, okay, we have this angle at center equals to two times angle at circumference. Okay, so what does this mean? It just means that if I have an angle at center over here, this value, the magnitude of this value, okay, is going to be two times that of this one. Okay, so how do we know whether it's angle at second circumference or angle at center? Uh, just a very quick check. All the sides must touch for the angle of circumference. Okay, see, notice here, touch the circumference, touch the circumference, touch the circumference. So this is our angle at circumference. For angle at center, it must touch the circumference and the center of the circle. Okay. Then how do we know whether they are the correct angle at center and angle at circumference? They must face the same direction. Notice the angle face the same direction. Same for this one, where the angle at center is now the opposite side here. The obtuse angle. Sorry, not obtuse, this is reflex angle. This reflex angle, the angle is the angle at circumference here. Uh, sorry, angle at center here. And the angle at circumference for this angle is here. So this value is two times this value. Okay? Then we have property number two, where we have angle, right angle in semicircle, okay, or angle in semicircle for short. Okay, so uh, very quickly, this is our angle at center, which happens to be 180 degrees. That's why when we use the property above, angle at circumference is now 90 degrees. Okay, we have also gone through this portion where we say angles in the same segment are equal. So to help everyone, I mentioned to you the ribbon remember the ribbon okay the ribbon the two corners of the ribbon will be having the same value and the corners of the ribbon itself must touch the circumference of the circle same for this okay so let's move on <coughs> okay to example five now okay now let's read the question together in the diagram o is the center of the circle Okay, so check O is center of circle here. Angle PAB is 38 degrees. See, PAB, 38 degrees A. Look very carefully. Down here, touches the circumference of the circle. Okay, so this is angle at circumference. Okay, so what does the question want? Angle PQB. PQB. What do you notice? P, A, B. P, Q, B. Do you see this ribbon? Can you see this ribbon? Check that they, this ribbon actually touches the circumference of the circle, all of them. And if you notice this ribbon, you will realize that this angle is the same, 38 degrees. So A, your answer has to be presented in this way, equals to 38 degrees. Okay, what's the reason? Angle in the same segment. See? Very easy, right? Straightforward. Okay, let's try part B. P, Q, A. P, Q, A. Look carefully. What do you see? Can you try it now? P, Q, If you have tried it on your own, well done. If you have not, okay, here's the solution. Look at PQA carefully. What can you tell me about PQA and PQB? They are actually... PQA and PQB can actually form together to get 90 degrees. How do I know that? Because I see that A, O, B is a straight line passing through the center of the circle and I notice that since this passes through the center of the circle this is my diameter so this angle is yes you got it it's 180 degrees so if this is 180 degrees what can you tell me about A Q B well done so angle A Q B is equals to 90 degrees 
okay wherever possible write down all the information that you can retrieve so that it's easier for you to check later on as well as tell the examiner what you are thinking so angle AQB is 90 degrees so what's the rationale angle in semi circle so since I know AQB is 90 degrees I also know that angle AQB is equals to angle APQ plus angle BQP and I know angle BQP from part A okay so that will mean that I just have these two solve see you can work that out right yeah so angle A P Q is equals to 90 degrees minus 38 degrees okay I have 12 degrees here okay let's check again 12 degrees yeah okay so it's quite straightforward right okay so don't be afraid okay you just need to look at your diagram very carefully and try to figure out what to do okay let's speed up the process but C, can you go and try on your own now? Okay, for those who have tried on your own, well done. Okay, for those who have not, okay, let's look at this thing again. Okay, so now we have QPB. QPB, I need to find this angle. Okay, now don't restrict yourself to just one information. Try to look at the whole picture. Sometimes it's easier to look at the whole picture. Sometimes it's easier to try to figure out at the bot at the specific area. So let's think about a few properties that we've learned so far. First property, angle at center is two times angle at circumference. Do you find the angle at center? Do you find angle at circumference? Can you use that property? Maybe. If you think you can, carry on. If not, let's move on to the next one. Angle at still the same thing angle at center is two times angle at circumference but we apply it to a semicircle ah maybe that would be a better choice here let's look at it using that property do you notice this q o p is a straight line passing through the center of the circle so this is also a diameter of the circle look at this triangle P Q B. Look at this triangle. P Q B. What can you tell me about angle P B Q? Well done. Okay, angle P B Q is ninety degrees. How do I know? Because it's angle in semicircle. So, having said that, since I know this is ninety degrees then all i need to do is just well done okay add all the angles together and i get 180 degrees so in order to find my angle that i need q p b okay you'll be just 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 38 degrees okay which would give me 12 degrees as well okay so this is a sum of angles in a triangle see actually for this part C there are a range of ways to do okay so do check back with me if you are not very sure on what to do okay let's look at example 6 go and try this question on your own now if you have not done so for those who have tried Let's check your answer with me. In the diagram, AB is a diameter of the circle. Given that angle BAP, BAP, oh, this is strange. P is outside the circle. Do take note. Okay, whatever properties that we have learned so far, it has to be within the circle. But if it's outside the circle, we have to take extra precaution because those properties may not apply anymore. Okay, so down here, B A Q is still within the circle, but P is not within the circle. Okay, so do take note. 
Then let's look at the other information. Angle BPA. It is outside now. BPA is 35 degrees. Okay, find angle BQX. The question wants BQX. It wants this angle. Okay, so what do you think we can do here? Okay, there are a range of ways that we can do. Okay, don't restrict yourself to just one, but take a very close look at what you have. Okay, let's do some background work. Okay, let's see whether we can simplify this for everyone again. Okay, let's look at this. B, X, Q. B, A, Q. What can you tell me about these two angles? Some of you are able to tell me that this is also 24 degrees. Why? Because B, X, Q and B, A, Q are... Well done! Okay, it's called angles in the same segment. Yeah? Okay, so now that we know this information, let's look at what other information we can use. Okay, perhaps we can do something about it. Okay, next one. Oh, I noticed something. A, O, B is a straight line passing through the center O. So this is definitely our diameter. Which also tells me that A, Q, B is... Well done. It's 90 degrees. Since I know AQB is 90 degrees, I can solve for quite a number of things already. Okay, so let's think about this. Since this is 90 degrees, what other things can you tell me about BQP specifically? BQP. BQP. What can you tell me about that? Okay, so let's try. Okay, so let's think about this in the background. If I know BQP, I know this angle is 90 as well because this is 90 and I know AQP is a straight line. That's why BQP is 90 degrees. Okay, what about this angle QBP? Can you find this angle? Then you look at the big angle over here. Okay, the big one ABP. Do you think you can find that angle? Yeah, if you can, then if I know this angle and I know this angle and I know this angle, sorry, A, B, P if I know A, B, P and I can find B, Q, B, P okay, which would mean I can find this smaller angle inside here Q, B, A you can find Q, B, A then what else can I find? You go and work it out Okay, extension question. Okay, I'll post my answer in the next video.